off, I want to thank everyone for being here. Um, and I'm just going to let you give you a brief overview of what I'm going to talk about. So my experience at Nichols, our team success, and just a little bit about my role of leadership. So a lot of people ask me why I chose Nichols. And I chose Nichols for a couple of reasons. And it's a funny story because I kind of chose Nichols on the last day possible. Um, and coming to Toronto campus, that goes a long way because you don't really get that sense of family that you that you would get if you did a common tour of Nichols or if you get a virtual tour. You gotta be on campus to experience that the community that Nichols has and the family that Nichols creates. So just knowing that uh, Nichols was academically appealing with the Fort Worth program. Um, and just just be able to build a relationship with not only your classmates but the professors as well. That's where I knew I was going to excel. Um, and that's kind of what sold me. To be able to build relationships with uh, my professors and my classmates, I was sold. Um, so just a little bit about my freshman year. I wasn't so involved. I was a little bit standoffish. Um, and what freshman is, you know? Um, they get on campus a little bit shy. But effective speaking definitely changed that for me. Um, freshmen are required to take effective speaking class. And that goes a long way. Um, to be able to stand up here right now and be as comfortable as I feel. Um, I owe, that credit, I owe all that credit to uh, effective speaking. Sophomore and junior was a little bit about the same, doing homework, my work study, uh, practicing, you know, just daily routines, and then senior year, being able to say that I completed uh, three courses already in my four plus one program, and to be able to just stand up here and say, I'm a senior, it goes a long way because my, both my parents did not go to college, and so I'm gonna be the first one in my immediate family to you know, graduate from uh, college. So just a little bit about the team success. Uh, the first game of the season, we handled the adversity from the start. Uh, many of you may know of that viral video uh, where one of my teammates getting punched in the face or elbowed in the face that, uh, you know, that kind of made us glue together. And I think I'm very proud of how not only myself but how my team handled that. Uh, we could have retaliated, but we didn't. Um, we kind of glued together and we went on to go to the best start of Nichols history at 10-0. So that's a great pat on the back for, for us and as a community. Um, Nichols College had our back um, through all of that and uh, just couldn't be thankful enough for that. Um, we went fast forward to the CCC at Holy Cross. I was kind of disappointed because I wanted, it, I wanted the last home game to be at Nichols, but it turned out to be the best. Uh, we shuttled buses of students to go to Holy Cross. And when, when I stepped on the court, I looked around and I said, wow. This, this is what it feels like to have a D1 gym filled with Nichols College students, and uh, that's something I'm gonna remember forever. Um, then we go to the NCAA tournament, uh, Rome University. We're playing Middlebury College, a NESCAP school, uh, and we end up taking them down. Then we play the host team, Rome University. We end up taking them down, and then another viral video goes of uh, co head coach Fabio uh, dancing. Um, I, I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, he had some pretty good dancers, and we were all surprised just as much as we were. Uh, um, then we headed to Amherst for the Sweet 16 to play Amherst. And this, uh, this game was particularly special for me because um, I actually applied to um, a lot of NESCAP schools, and I thought that my grade point average was good enough where I could academically get into those schools and potentially play basketball. But, when I visited Amherst, the uh, head coach told me that, um, hey, I was too small, I was too weak, and I wouldn't be able to play here. Um, and I kind of just took that, I took it in my back pocket, and I said, okay, I'm gonna see you again. And <laughs> luckily I did, my senior year, I saw him, and I shook his hand respectfully, but boy, did it feel good to beat them on the air home court <laughs> in the Sweet 16. Um, yeah, and, uh, that was kind of special for my, uh, my father as well, because he went on that tour with me, and sitting in the coach's office, and my dad hearing him say that, he was like, hey, I hope this motivates you. And it sure did. Um, and then unfortunately we lost in the, uh, in the Elite Eight to Swarthmore, but um, as sad as that is, I was luckily to get invited to the All-Star Game in Fort Wayne. Um, it's uh, the NABC D3 Reese's All-Star Game, and that was an experience in itself. I got to go to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and experience, and actually watch the games, and also play a game myself. So that was uh, to play with a lot of kids from around the country and make those connections. That goes a long way as well. 
Um, and right when I thought it couldn't have got better, um, on, Men on Monday, April 22nd, 2019, the Nichols men's basketball team was honored with the key to Dudley Mass. Um, <laughs> yeah, and sitting in that selectman meeting, I had no idea what was going on, but when we got up there, we were asked to talk about ourselves and um, the team's success. And uh, he stopped us and said, hey, this is the first time we're ever going to do this, but uh, this uh, little um, honor I'd like to bestow on you guys. This has been clean in my office. I clean it every now and then. And uh, I just wanted to present uh, the key to Dudley. And I looked over to um, Coach Roger, and my mouth was just open. I couldn't close it because you kind of only see these things in movies. Uh, you don't really get to experience getting a key to the city. And I just, I just felt like if, if all the accomplishments of the season didn't smack me in the face when it was over, it smacked me in the face at that moment because Wow, that's an achievement for us. Um, and so just a little bit about uh, my leadership role on campus. Uh, my freshman year, um, I had a very small leadership role on the team. Uh, we had seniors as such as Christian Horton or Gustav Kumar or Irving Anderson, which is probably a familiar name to you guys. Um, and I learned a lot from them. I learned that leadership is the act of motivating not only yourself, but others to engage in activities or beliefs to complete an ultimate goal or vision. And I feel like I feel like I've definitely embodied that uh, with the Nichols basketball team. Um, to be business like off the court and on the court. Um, I preach being a student athlete because basketball has a has a limited lifetime. And once that's over, what do you do after that? Um, and so I kind of preach these guys, get your homework done, time management, we have a required study hall, get here on time, get as much work as you can. Because when we go to practice and after practice, you're not going to want to do homework. I know you're not going to want to do homework. So just get it done as, as fast as you can, as diligent, diligently as you can. Um, and just little things that I've learned, just being able to grow and learn, fail, and succeed throughout the years was truly a blessing. A blessing because it allowed me to see the bigger picture on things, creating habits I want to stick with for a lifetime, such as I choose the attitude I want to bring to the day. Nothing else affects that. I have that power to choose. And hard work, if goes unnoticed in the present, will be highlighted in the future. Um, and this, I have a little example for this because my freshman year, I don't know if you guys know this, but my freshman year, I was uh, tasked with being on the free throw line um, to tie the game with three foul shots, and I ended up missing that, and I took that very hard. And uh, my sophomore year, I, well, that summer, I worked my butt off. and. Um, that hard, I felt like that hard work went unnoticed, and luckily um, we were able to win the first uh, CCC championship for Nichols uh, um, college history, and then we ended up repeating. So that hard work that went unnoticed during that time is definitely noticed now. And um, a path, a path traveled along was a lot less fun than a path traveled with the team. Um, I just want to again thank you for the support in the past that you guys have paid for a student like me. Thank you.